The judiciary is the branch of government that has the fewest words in the Constitution. Does that mean it has the least amount of power? Article 3 grants the judicial power to the Supreme Court and other lower federal courts, but it doesn't define that power. Alexander Hamilton, one of the framers of the Constitution, said that the judiciary was the least dangerous branch because it had neither the power of the purse, like Congress, nor the power of the sword, like the president. However, the judiciary does have the power to overturn the laws passed by Congress and the actions of the president as unconstitutional, a power known as judicial review. Through judicial review, unelected judges can overturn the will of the majority of voters as expressed through the Congress and the president. This idea seems contradictory in a democracy where the majority rules. But the U.S. has a constitutional democracy, one in which the will of the majority is always limited by the Constitution itself. Therefore, Article 3 creates an independent judiciary, one that does not rely on the people for its power. Who is qualified to be a judge? The Constitution doesn't state an age or profession. Over the years, presidents have always nominated lawyers who are trained to interpret the law, but that doesn't mean the Senate will always confirm them. Because judges serve for life, the effects of a president's judicial appointments last long after the president has left office. The job of the judicial branch is to interpret the law. But what does that mean? Some say a judge should be like an umpire in sports, not using personal experience or beliefs to influence their rulings. Others say that judges hear complex cases and weigh many factors, so they have to use good judgment to carry out justice. If the people disagree with how the Supreme Court interprets the Constitution, then they can amend or change it. Ultimately, we the people decide what the Constitution means. How do you think judges should interpret the law?